Burning Wish doesn't have Echo in this list. Basically just there for Peer. Feed the Swarm and a Wincon. Punt number two of the tournament. We're playing against Polluted Delta. Yeah. I'm all the five, I'm not sure I have the luxury of just holding a Thought Seize. Cool. Just gonna get in Tomb Reanimated. Of course we are. Jesus. Yeah, they got a set game. Mold a five on the draw, uh, and they have the nut. Inner five wasn't even that good. I really like to bring in Pierce. So we have another engine, but it's pretty bad against them. Sand is Dees. Here's a Saga, here's a Tutor, and here's a Ley Line. All the things. Raisin Borrower, of course. Hmm. I wish this was an ancient tomb. Thoughtsies would be nice. They found the wasteland, they have a petty theft. We're in trouble. Cool. There's that thought sees. Do we still play Wishclaw? All right, Brazen B is gone.
Got a chance. Just want to draw artifacts. Castable artifacts. No sagas in the deck. I drew that for turn. Sweet. They didn't play Dothy Voidwalker. Just so they could hold up double days. They had double days though. Or they know it was on top from a ponder. Or was that I think they knew the next card from Ponder. Might be wrong. Still not doing it. So it's another petty theft. Then they still have to find Entomb. No, you play Dothy here. No, you don't. Alright. That's a good one. They let it go. Huh. It is another petty theft. Alright. Sure. That's pretty good. Like it's one of the things we need is some more mana. Now we just need spells so that I can chain into a... Or wait, do we have enough? Three, four, five, six, seven, six. So we could have played a helm, but then not activate, and then they'd have two wish claws. So no, we need one more mana. Play around these dazes. They still have one unknown. Come on. Alright, they have one unknown. We go, right? Two, four, five, six. LED means eight, seven. Helm is three mana. Activate is two. Pay for each days. Dies to days number three or force a well. We can also. What if we activate Wish Claw, get Cabal Therapy? No, that just cuts so much mana out of the line. This Wish Claw is plus two mana from LED right now. A single discard spell doesn't actually do anything against Daze. In fact, to play around the Daze is... If they had a force, I would need a discard spell and more mana. I'm going for it. Could have another petty theft. Yet another petty theft. I think I'm just fine with anything they could have here. Because it's one draw. They cast a spell, we might be able to tutor chain and tendrils them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then they can still counter one copy. I think they're just thinking about dazing or not. Dead, right? Can't wait till upkeep because then they can use use a wish claw. Now they've seen the whole deck. 
Could come back off of it. But then we're on the draw as well, so that's super awkward. I definitely want more Fatal Push. Probably just less Bobble. There's certainly some risk involved with this. Mostly due to having Helm in hand. But we have a basic, we have discard. Paddy Theft won't be as good since I have two things for the graveyard. Fatal push. They're not going to like mulligan to scam hand since they know there's probably going to be a ley line. I just, you can't not thought seize here, right? They have those null rod hands where they're just, their hand like sucks aside from just having a null rod. If they brainstorm into null rod, then you're pretty much screwed. Chalice of the Void. I'll take the force. All right, no, no null rod is good. Obviously. I just think it's likely we find more discard before we find the mana for Helm. Yeah, that it is. All right. I would like to draw some mana. Kind of like drawing mana. Another brainstorm. All right. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping they play like a Dothy Voidwalker or something. Something that taps them out so that I can bobble safely. Hmm. Not great at the moment, but that would be good. Okay. Come on. I can't believe we haven't drawn any mana. It's turn five. I know they have a wasteland, but not even a land to get through a wasteland. Drawn Leyline, Infernal Tutor, Infernal Tutor, Bobble, Duress. This I'm thrilled with. That's fine. Vintage hand, not great. This one's pretty decent. 
Play the Brazen Borrower. I think I have to bottom this time walk. Knew it. Teeny tiny ant on my wrist. Thought I felt something. Gonna hold up Bowmasters forever. I think we're forced into it at this point. You can at least Fatal Push pulls into Daze, but they've already dazed twice. Oh, it's the jewel mirror. We're on the play though. Another turn one Trinosphere. Just realizing who we're playing against. Or at least every time I've seen them, they've been on jewel. Just the same cards. The same. We can save this to kill that. I still think we just need to do this while we know they don't have Bowmasters. We're drawing island. That's good for us. All right. We drew some mana. Incredible. All right. Let's get this Trinosphere in. Come. Oh, no. I should have played Opal first. God damn it. I do that way too often, man. I do that way too often. Non vintage slash non Trinosphere gamer here. Saga's pretty good here. They did take Helm. They wasteland us, we can fatal push, but I think they know that. Continue to draw like shit. Oh well. Mana Crypt. Actually a good draw. Bobble. What are they playing with bobbles? Don't they usually play Doomsday? Or they play storm decks too. That's not a storm deck. We are one shy. They're off it. We can play around days if we imprint Cabal Therapy. 
we can hold it, hope that we draw something else to imprint, but then Cabal Therapy doesn't play around days because we have to cast it. I think we chill, unfortunately. Hopefully draw a second discard spell. Or just more mana. So I can do both. If we draw land, I'll be bummed out that I didn't play my city, but still a good draw. Um, Pretty sure they play Hull Breachers. I think they even play a main, but... I transfer out. Probe can come out. Opal Monolith. One Transmute. An island. Just both Opals. Pretty inconsistent card. There's our other discard spell. So now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight in discard and of Adnaz, but it plays into days. But at least we get to play a discard spell and take a peek. So if they have just one piece of interaction, we know we have an Adnaz. They have many pieces of interaction. But this Cabal Therapy is looking decent. It's a problem if they get another blue card going. Um, we just have to hope they don't have a blue card. Or we can wait another turn, take another three. Lead a wasteland, and that's it. I don't think I'm supposed to wait. I'm going to call your bluff. They could hit a cantrip here and then draw into a blue card. They did not. They do hit a bolt. Means we're effectively at nine. We have no land drop. Opal's good. Jewel player's passing. Interesting. Feels like a whole breacher. Raw Mox is good. So currently we have two, three, four, five mana. We need one more mana. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. Rewarded. That was really close. Um, We actually just run it back against Delver. Okay. I'd play Pedal Play around days, but it just plays right into Meltdown. 
Needle for Wish Claw. We get Wasted. We take their card advantage. It's a good hand. I think we take Druid because it's both their threat and card advantage. There's an Opal. All right, here they come. Merjulin. Didn't waste us. Interesting. Right, how worried about this needle am I? Probably not too much, right? Let's go candy trail. Don't need bobble. The rest is fine. They want to waste me now, that's fine. I might go like IT Copy Saga. This needle could be an issue at that point. Alright, they are firing off waste. Do they play needle named Saga or just not play needle still? They just don't play it yet. Reasonable. Damn. God, I'm tempted to just wait. Could get them to just play Needle on Saga. And they won't be worried about it and it'll actually go to the third chapter. Yeah. Oh, that's not cool. All right. They want Merktide Pass. They still have Force Negation plus Unknown. Not a bad draw. Their 20 is kind of the problem here. So it has to be Ad Nauseam. I hope they have no 0 or 1 on top. Or a five. They've got a zero. Force negation. Yep. I just need one more mana. That's negative one mana. Negative two. Technically a dark ritual could still get there. Oof, they flipped, so we're at three. Yeah, this doesn't work. Oh no, I should have brought in Haywire Might. Fuck. Is this super dark, or is it just me? Or Sun Top. 
Don't want to dress. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Land on top. Come on, dark ritual. Candy trail. Wish claw. Two, three, four, seven. And it's pretty decent. Very decent. All right, they did not force it. We got Wastelanded. Darcy's coming in unflipped. Hell yeah. Need LED or Wishclaw Talisman? We put a Wishclaw on the bottom. There's one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Nice. Raw dog in it, but still need a mana. There it is. Oh, we need some more storm. That should do it. And they let us see Boros with swords, one ring, saga. This is wild. They're usually playing wild stuff. Wild. All right, against this stuff, there's probably Chalice somewhere. Um, got some bobbles. Mm, this card's pretty bad, too.
That's fine. <laughs> Can't even answer it if I wanted to. So I have no reason to, though. The fuck, man. Door. I mean, we just leave the baubles. On average, we're not going to have cards better than just putting an artifact into play, so... I'm going to pick them off one by one. Alright. What's up, Pistar? If opponent plays turn one bobble against you, what do you do? What do you mean? Are you talking about vexing bobble? What's up, Blueberry? Alright, this is brutal. What do I do? Um, I have a different list. I would either be playing Veils or, at the very least, Haywire might be able to remove it. It's either a candy trail so that we can get selection underneath the corn. But what are we trying to select for? A basic swamp? So that we can kill a construct, I guess. Well, we can kill two, two constructs. Is that better than getting a haywire mite so I have another body? I don't know. I'm gonna get candy trail. Might also find a sock. Okay, we found the basic swamp. Um, I mean, no, we don't want the artifact land. I mean, I don't ha hate having an artifact. For these constructs. This gets bopped by Karn, though. Alright. Karn down to two. Can they put two blockers? Actually, even if they put two blockers, we have the push for one of them. I think we're going to kill Karn. I can even IT for another Fatal Push. Jeez. I can't really afford to attack. Wow. This is, uh... Problem is, I can't do it all instantly. I think I swamp, writ, IT, copy, fatal push. Then we attack a Karn, then make a construct. Oh, I'm gonna feed the swarm the boo. Just sucks I can't like do it all instantly. Did you go to the first legacy pit open? I did. I placed thirty second with the epic gamble. Exactly 32nd place. And X2 and 1. And my one draw was because thinking I had to use pen and paper against the Bant player. 
in a super grindy match. Yeah, both coming at Karn. And then I top forward the second one. Well, we're playing Vintage, too. We just started brewing a little bit of Ruby and Modern. And I've been playing a bit of Popper as well. We play Vintage Cube. It's not all Legacy. I think we leave this bobble. They gotta pay two. Pay two more. Pay another two. Super close game. We're drawing a million cards, though. But, we might be able to, like, kill their dudes and attack them for lethal. Maybe another construct. They can kill one of my constructs with Minsk and Boo, I guess. That's pretty good. Classic Motown Mox Diamond and Chrome Mox deck. What do they do with Minskin Boo? I think they just killed themselves. If we can find another black source. We go to nine. No, they're just dead. They know we have Fatal Push. They attacked with both? They have one card. What does Minskin Boo number two do? It sevens us? That's not enough. Maybe they have another ring? I might have another ring. I mean, there's nothing I can do here, but it feels like they left themselves dead. Give it to me straight, Tony. Is Storm back in modern? I don't know yet, man. Um, I don't get it. They have swords in their deck. We know that. Pedal's good. Confusing to me. It's got to be a swords, right? Swords are their own guys. They go to 13. And they take 10, but then they take 3. So swords doesn't actually do it here. Dismember doesn't do it either. Well, they can make black. Dismember... Stage you. Yeah, I guess we could have attacked them, let them block, and then... This doesn't do it, though. Still go to three, and they have a ring on three. Yeah, we could have attacked, and... Uh, that would have been a good play. But, so, uh, I don't know. It, it wasn't enough. They were still dead to swords, so... I've been in that spot before. Let me just tap this ring just in case there's something I forgot about in my deck. Or, no, they have swords. We have Fatal Push, though. They know that, too. So if they did draw into a swords... Okay. That was close. Well, this is not a great hand. We got the mulligan this legacy hand. Oh boy. This one we don't mulligan. My bottom LED, I don't have enough to add Nas, but it gives me a chance to have it protected. Or if they're a blue deck, I'll still just cast Duress. Could also just. Bottom opal. Uh, I think it's Ellie. Hmm. God, that's a tough call. All right, they play Saga. It's 
Spirit Guide Engineer. Alright. Regretting dropping the LED. Very many, 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 many draws. They'll let us add nods here. I guess I don't hate harassing instead, but it's not great. Um, initiative. Well, it's nice we won that game. A Trinisphere. Okay, we drew Dark Ritual. Sweet. All right, need some rituals, LEDs, there we go. So we have one, two, three, six mana. Let me see more of your deck. I mean, it's Red Painter, but... Five, eight, suppose I'll dress, take a peek. Rabble. So it's some sort of like hybrid? Weird. Very weird. Okay. Okay, this is. Harder than Painter. Alright, we want Haywire Might. We're probably going to want Surge Nodes. Fatal Push and Swarm. We cut a couple of Bobbles. And certainly some Duress. Got all the Duress. I think we keep this hand. Our hands are just gonna be bad on the draw against them. Someone has some interaction. Okay. If we can find another land, we're in pretty good shape, especially because... 3-6, they mulliganed once and use a spirit guide and started with a city. To do that, they might just pass with nothing. Obviously, Blood Moon, Magus, those are the are the bigger issues with this, but... I think they just have a Magus. I don't think we can wait with this, and I think it's going to die to a Blood Moon anyways. There's not much use waiting. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it, they don't want to make a play yet and blow up their city. They would have played Chicken. Oh no, alright. There's no way they have a Moon. We do not draw land. That is devastating. Hmm. I should not have discarded Chrome Mox. That was bad. I should have discarded one of these Opals. Funny draw. Chromox is like the card that we want right now. Funny enough. Okay, Haywire Mine's no good because we don't have other mana sources. And we could have used this Chromox to play the other Chromox and get some mana sources into play. Damn, that was really bad. We need that Chromox. I think it's supposed to bobble. Because at this point I just need a land. 
Petal's not gonna help. Soul Cauldron. Not even just the Trinisphere, a main deck Trinisphere even. Damn good thing we had a turn one. God. Come on. Come on. So punished. So punished. Okay. All right. We did it. You attack here? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna haywire my next turn. Then we're gonna have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. And we have to tear through Candy Trail and Surge Node. Six. And then Infernal Tutor. I'm trying to decide if I want to make Constructs or Thought Seize them. Obviously they have Engineer. I had to get that Opal in though. So that the next artifact that came into play off of Saga or the Construct would make it mana. So that we don't have to play into the Trinisphere on the turn that we have Haywire Might. Oh, excuse me. I mean, they didn't do shit last turn. I can just chump, right? LED? Oh, I needed something. I needed a card that did something. Maybe another blocker doesn't seem good enough. But I might have to. Make a blocker, kill Trinisphere. Like, I, we can kill this, but... Okay, we can make a construct and kill that. Not even that big of a construct, though, and they have a 5-6. They might just have another... Oh no, then Devourer is gone. Huh. A price of progress, really. <laughs> okay then. XJ with the raid. Thanks, dude. Hope you had fun with the MH3 testing. I know we did. Wrapping up the legacy challenge. 3 3 the vintage. I think I have to thought seize them. Molten duplication. More Agathas. Oops, all Agathas. Lots of price of progress. <laughs> We take duplication, right? Yeah. So we're gonna jump this thing again. If we can find like an LED. Three, five, seven, nine. That does it. That gives us an ad nos. Was that their draw? That was their draw. Alright. We're ad nosing. We even get a little candy trail action to set it up. I like that. Petal? Pfft, hell yeah. Okay. 
Guess we candy trail first. That there's an LED. I don't even have to cast Surge Node. I could just draw into the LED. And we get to gain three. Earning Wish. I think we can bottom that. I mean, I guess it is a. Yeah, I don't want it. Swamp is whatever. All right. Y'all have joined at the right time. We're about to add Nas. Hopefully for the wins. Their price of progress does nothing. Love to see that. Six, seven, eight. Wait. Seven, eight, nine. One storm away from just tutor chaining. We do have a land drop. Oh, setting up candy trails, not a thing. Or shuffling. Doi. From 19. It's turn 9. Classic play Trinisphere pass for 6 turns. Alright, they look dead. It's a lot of lines of diamonds. It's a lot of lines of diamonds. Alright. Nope. Gotta get a restart moto. I gotta cast them, guys. I, I just, I gotta cast the zeros. I don't know what it is. I just have to. Alright. For those of you who also have OCD, I'm sure you're appreciative. So, sh sure, some of y'all are sitting there like, oh my god, please cast them. Yes. It's therapeutic, right? All right, opponent, I think you died. Oops. What a weird version of this archetype. I feel like it's just too much from too many, too many places. You've got Trinisphere, Engineer, Agatha's combo. They also just had a Rabble Master. You got Molten Duplications. I don't know, man. I would imagine they don't have Painter. We didn't see Welder, but that probably is in the list. All right, we're climbing back. We're still X1. I'm inclined to keep this hand. It's not fantastic, but as an Active turn one saga with a bunch of artifacts and a dress. See if we can gleam what they're up to. I, I'm mostly a legacy player, but that wasn't vintage, that was vintage cube. Looks like recently they were playing reanimator, reanimator. Wait, what does that mean? Is that scaminator? Cool. Whoop de do. Um, well, sure. Scam doesn't do much against this. Wasteland does. Okay, this is not Scaminator. This is Zoopsal spells, and we're dead. Okay. Well, we don't interact turn zero, so we lost the die roll, and they comboed us. So I want to take a peek at their deck. Sure. We're pretty good against this sort of thing. Definitely a little bit tougher, given that we lost game one. Hmm.
What happened? Uh, so we were just drafting Vintage Q while we were waiting for one of the rounds in the Legacy Challenge. So to answer your previous question, pr primarily I play Legacy, um, but I also play Vintage Cube, Vintage, Popper, a little bit of Modern. We'll see how we feel after this challenge. I'll probably sign off after this challenge. I am almost 11 and a half hours in. <laughs> it's been a day between MH3 testing and then double queuing challenges. We were playing the vintage challenge at the same time, but we did finish. We came in 26th. Three and three. Okay. This one does not get it done. This one is a black source away from demolishing our opponent. But can't forget, we don't have Adnaz, so not necessarily. This is not good. They're on seven. Okay, this is good. For a four card hand, this is like perfect. It gets wrecked by Force of Vigor. Well, we just lost turn one last game. And the game before that, I turned one my opponent. Or two games before that. Not exactly. For the most part, games get very interactive. We're about to get Force of Vigor into the fucking dirt. Right into the dirt. Killing me with this pause. There are turn one decks, however, there are decks that are very good at, at least initially, uh, stopping the turn one shenanigans and at least bringing the game further, right? It's like vintage too, right? Vintage is even more powerful, and yet the games quite often get, most often get very interactive. But every now and then, you get wrecked. Oh my god. Um, I mean, it doesn't happen a lot, mostly because the decks that are capable of it, only so many people play them. Most of the good players want as much agency as possible and leave as little as possible to chance so that they have control over their games, which usually, usually means blue decks, more consistent. Kind of interested in the painter deck strategy, but getting involved in Legacy when I'm used to Battleship Commander feels like quite the jump. Uh, it can be, but the thing with really high-powered competitive formats like this... Uh-oh, what are they doing? Just getting it out there before I discard it? Um, is that there's only so many cards that are good enough to be in the format, right? It's the entire card pool, Legacy, which is the specific ban list. And what that basically does is once, once you learn the card pool, it's really not that big. It's not a tremendously wide format. Like, for instance, I think a format like Modern is actually more difficult to get into. Because there are just so many viable decks that the amount of cards that you need to know is a lot bigger. For the most part. Right? You're going to run into stuff that you don't know. I mean, we all are. Magic is massive. 
Okay, so you can get Cage here, but it doesn't really help you unless you have two Ley Lines. Because Force of Vigor still does a number on you. I think we have to get Opal. I think we want to get Opal. Can't Thought Seize them. Maybe it's Candy Trail. I just, we, we pretty much want two things. We want Haywire Might, we want Opal so we can kill this Ley Line. Although we might just win on the ground here. We could play towards that. I'm going to go with Candy Trail. Even finding another Saga would be really good. Like Candy Trail, right? You're not going to know this card. <laughs> it's pretty corner case. Uh, yeah, we can't keep these. I will say I do not feel safe. They have a lot of cards in their deck that kill enchantments. Well, typically in their sideboard. I don't know just how many they would have brought in, but... They already have the thing and the mana to activate it. They just need to remove this. Don't have it, don't have it, don't have it, don't have it, don't have it! Maybe Opal is just better there, because then it lets us at least start deploying Wish Claws, which does make our constructs bigger. They don't have it yet, though. There's really not much reason not to do it if you do have it, so... It's not good. Can't really afford to use this candy trail. Need my constructs to be bigger than this informer. My pleasure. Thank you. That's a great draw. Could play Wishclaw. I don't think it really matters. Scoop? Yeah! Alright, whew. That was close. Mold the four we got there. See, that's another thing. When you're playing decks that are that volatile of a turn one deck, the deck we're playing against is literally the fastest deck in the format. Um, that's going to change in a few days because they printed a new card called Necrodominance. Um, but as of right now, this is the most volatile turn one combo deck that we're playing against. And we just beat them on a mold of four because they are fragile. But now they know what they have to deal with. Um... They killed us without seeing what we were on, so they don't know 100%. I'm sure they had some cards that dealt with this hate, but not as many as I'm sure they'll put in now. Plus also, now that when they mulligan, they'll know what to mulligan to. But we'll see. Um, sensing Leyline, maybe I do want less discard. Probably want some less. Funny that Fatal Push would have been good there. <laughs> Painter? Painter is quite good. It's in a weird spot right now because it... There's, like, different ways to build it. There's Red Painter, of course, but then that's split off into, like... They've been doing a lot of testing with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, which combos with that Phyrexian card. Forget what the F it is. But some of them play Painter still. Some of them don't even play Painter. It's like the same deck except without Painter. <laughs> and then there's Blue Painter, which is kind of like 8-cast, except it's got the Painter combo. I guess we keep these. They've got their Ley Line, and I've got mine. It's 
It's a pretty decent draw. I'd really like to play Saga first, but I don't think we can afford... Well, here's the thing. If we put Cage into play. It can just force a Vigor. is like the number one card that removes this. They can hit that and Cage and then just win. If we play Saga... They can also just blow that up with, with Leyline. And then I don't have a way to play Cage. Okay. Guess we don't necessarily need to play Opal. Devour, yeah. You know what? I'll play it. They have discard as well. Guess there's no reason to bobble yet. They do not have Force of Vigor. That's very good news. Actually, a good draw at this point would be another Ley Line. I would slam it. And then I would just make a token next turn on the second. First step against them is don't die. Still fairly certain it reveals the card that you bobble to your opponent when... It shouldn't. It's not supposed to. Like, we can't target them, right? So we have to target ourselves. But it's not supposed to. It says that you look at it. You, as in the person who fucking activated it. God, I wish I didn't have this tendrils in my hand. Welcome back. Hmm. All right. Oh, yes. Yes, they are. I was just seeing if I had enough to, like, tendrils and then cast Tutor and play another Saga and be able to activate. Not close. Are you going to play a blocker? And it's what I've been afraid of this whole time, but your match has started. Yeah, thanks. It's talking about this match. Fucking Moto, man. They're playing the top eight in the vintage event right now. <laughs> That's funny. They're the only match left. Good on them. This is round five of the Legacy Challenge. We are three and one. This is game three. We lost the die roll and got turn one. Then we mulled the four in game two and got there. Leyline Saga Ancient Tomb, baby. A league is... It costs 12 tickets or $12 worth of tickets. 120 play points. Same thing. You win play points when you for various prizes as you play. But a league, you play five matches. You can play them whenever you want. You can play one today, the other four next week, whatever. As long as it's within the same season that's like, you know, a couple months or whatever. Sometimes there's longer seasons. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But um, if you... 1, 4, or 0, 5, you don't get anything. If you 2, 3, you get half your money back. If you 3, 2, you get your money back and a chest, which is worth a couple of bucks. If you 4, 1, you win some. And if you 5, 0, oh, you win even more. A challenge is a large actual tournament that everybody... So each round, you have to wait for everyone to finish. It's an actual like live event that everybody's there for. Um... So we can go for a win. No, we can't because we can't target them. 
Okay. So we may as well make constructs still. We're still pretty toast to force of vigor. I suppose what we could have done, can we still get LED ritual at six IT for burning wish for um feed the swarm? Nope. Burning wish is in our sideboard. Because we're on the uh ley line plan. Okay, I didn't bring any push or feed. This is the second time it, it would have been good. I mean, most of the time people don't play these out. You don't plan on chumping. I'm not sure it's... Maybe it's appropriate. Maybe they have two. I don't know. Um, hmm. Honestly, I might just haywire might their Chromox. No, that doesn't make sense. Because they already have the thing in play. All they need is the one mana that they already have. I don't have a needle in this uh in this list. There's nothing that we can do that further clinches this game. There have been in previous iterations of the deck. Having another cage or having a soul guide lantern, having a needle. Even if I had a fatal push in the deck, but I don't think it's correct to bring one in. I mean, I guess it is still just Haywire Might. Could be Chrome Mock, so I can imprint Tendrils, cast Ritual, play Wish Claw, IT for Saga, but that doesn't, that still doesn't like make this any better. No, I cut the boots today. It was just such, it was way too bad of a draw. This deck just can't have dead air like that. It's not echoing like the other one does. Maybe they have to... Okay, so I think I will get... Hey, I've found something that I think might make sense. If I haywire my Chrome Mox, is maybe, maybe their line has to be hard casting Force of Vigor if they don't have another green card. It's plausible, but... That does neuter my constructs. I'm still gonna... I'm, I'm gonna finally fucking get something. Oh no, I do that shit all the time, dude. I cannot believe it. That's actually embarrassing just how often I do that. <laughs> oh god, you can't get Haywire Might off a of Saga when you have Cage in play. You can't do it. I got so used to the play pattern from when we used to play against Reanimator and we used to have Soul Guide. We switched to Cage because it's good against uh, Cradle Control. Oh my god. That's okay. I can blame it on the time. Been streaming for 11 hours and 40 minutes. I mean, I've never done that. The only reason I did it was because I've been streaming so long, right? Jeez. Now, man. Hey, Scooper Reno. There we are on the draw, and this hand is admittedly not fantastic. I think I'm throwing it back. We just can't win a die roll. Is a Delver, 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 Grixis Tempo. Is a Delver, is a Delver, is a Delver, is a Delver. I think they play as a Delver. So I'm actually going to keep this. This is one of the circumstances in which I would. I have a basic, I have a discard effect, I have two lands, which is nice. I don't like being on the, the draw here, but is what it is. So it's a trot, but it's probably rug. Is it Delver is is or rather rug is basically is a delver right it plays a couple of uh i guess this list they ha yeah yeah questing druid it's three of them looks like pretty stock stuff i don't see a main deck counterbalance at least that's nice at least in their most recent list interesting draw
Huh. I want to copy Swamp, but that means I have to open with Vault. Could copy Thoughtseize. Could also wait on it. I can copy Bobble if I'm willing to open with Vault. Alright. I'm going to copy Bobble to essentially cycle this Infernal Tutor. I am running two Urza's Bobble, right? Pretty sure there are. Oh, uh, no. Yes. It's possible I should be copying Thoughtseize, but we're probably going to run into a discard spell with Bobble, and I don't necessarily want Thoughtseize as a discard spell. And I may not even want a discard spell. More than anything, I want some explosive mana so I can just discard and then kill them. Also get a little bit of info this way. There's a Force of Will. And a Daze. This also might find a Saga! That's not a good one. Well, that's not terrible. We might wind up, like, on the Tendrils line. You really have to stockpile cards in your hand. And they don't have a threat yet, so we might be there. I don't think I necessarily need lands at this point. I guess it's not... Yeah, no, I need spells. I'll keep that. Didn't have Questing Druid. Interesting. No threats. No cantrips. Alright, now they are. And this is why you don't discard early when you only have... I don't know, in, in spots. A lot of spots. Certainly this one. And sure, you get their Force of Will, and then they're just going to cast Cantrips with another one in their in their hand. You got to make them resp Wow. So they missed on Wasteland. Do I just keep Candy Trail? Still going to dodge Bolt. I think I'm still in for just using this. You know what I didn't think of? I had a good spot to copy Saga when we drew it. Or maybe not. It would have kind of played into Wasteland. I mean, uh, Daze. I'm not sure they're dazing a Infernal Tutor to hit my pedal, though. Still, I'm feeling pretty good. We're at 23. They have yet to put a threat down. Or a Wasteland. That's a great draw. And this is where Cabal Therapy winds up being a good draw. You can even get it with Wishclaw. We're not going to yet. Could get Candy Trail. I think I get LED. So I'm prepared to really pop off if I do wind up wanting to go. We also could have just kept all that mana and wind up killing them with tendrils. Huh. You can just attack here. Alright, so they do have the petty theft. This is a storm deck. So typically you cast ad nauseum, which get, allows you to draw like 20 plus cards, and then you cast a bunch of spells and kill them with tendrils. It just also has a pretty solid side plan with Saga. I think I'm still okay with passing. If I can hit them even once with a Construct, this hand is so lethal. Probably play a Merktide here. Tap out for a Merktide. 
Yeah. I don't think they chump, though. I think they take six here. Oh, baby. Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> they pretty much have to counter this, and they might. Guess not. Hmm. You might not want to be losing that much life. They let that go. It's interesting. Three tendrils here to get them lower, and then we can IT to get another thought seize. We can eventually like double thought seize. We can even just thought seize this Merc Tide. And also even just pass. <laughs> so many force wells, dude. You can get Cabal Therapy, but the problem is. I can't actually kill them if I do that with this Wish Claw. I might just have to pass. It's maybe too rambunctious with that Dark Ritual. Can't really let this Merc Tide hit though, huh? They're pretty far away from it. It's alright, we wasted a little bit. Almost fine. They could have actually cast Merc Tide there. If they went Bobble, dazed it, floated a mana, let the daze counter it, replay the land. It's four mana from land, and then you have three cards and you Merc Tide. Although, then your hand kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. Are they holding back to jump? No. All right, we have three, four, five, six, IT copy opal. Dead. Even if I let everyone get countered. But I won't. I'll give them the satisfaction. Alright, we just want Haywire Might. Thanks, man. 
Uh-oh. We're starting to fade. I'm on 12 hours now. This could go deep. Just gonna get one more. <laughs> After losing round two as well, that's I'm telling you that's that's where we uh, that's our bread and butter right there. Nothing wrong with this sand. The hell, something. Except that if we want to thought seize early, we do have to play out three artifacts. Ugh. I think I want to. I mean, sometimes you nab a, a meltdown, but I'd also just wouldn't mind nabbing, like, a cantrip so that you can't find wasteland. Or at least it's harder to. Okay. It's good so far. Watch, they're gonna go wasteland meltdown. Top of their deck is... That was the wasteland, and they're gonna reveal meltdown. No, but brainstorm is pretty good. And that's, of course, it was! Oh, God. Well, we need a tutor. A hey. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it walks into a daze. Or force plus blue card. I don't think we wait. They hit force plus blue card. All right. God, their hand was so terrible. The other option was to just play out Wishclaw, but there's really nothing suggesting that it would get better. Yeah. Way ahead. Top of their deck was Wasteland, Brainstorm, into Force Blue card. This was the only thing I was playing to. They have my Wishclaw, though. Tied of Bolts. <laughs> they have a meltdown. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, it doesn't matter here, right? <laughs> but it's funny. Go get your bolt. They're afraid. Afraid to give me a wishclaw. Rereading it, just making sure that I can't use it. I mean, it doesn't really get me there anyways. What are we doing? Whatever. You can waste your time inside boarding hills and out. Oh my god.
Terrible draw. Terrible draw. Still not a great draw. Play in a meltdown or play around bolts? I mean, <clears throat> we're kind of playing in a meltdown either way. Like, if we play out pedals, Construct is a 4 4, it doesn't get killed by bolts. They're not going to melt down then. Or they might, actually. Because then I can't make a second one. But I can float and make one. I'm going to try to at least mitigate Meltdown and play into Bolts. Could play one. Could play one out. No. It's immediately melting for two. Really? Okay. Be nice if we draw a dark ritual. No, but that's good. This is an ad nose around days, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. It's around one days. They haven't played any threats, though, and it's turn five. Seems more like a candy trail situation to me. Pretty abysmal. Looks like they did in fact have a force. So I want to get this above bolt range. Hope they don't have another meltdown. But it, it still doesn't look great, though. Close to lethal? No. I mean, yeah. It puts them to four, but it blows their pedals, and then we have a 2-2 construct against their five-card hand. Could have just held it all, but then our construct isn't hitting. Yeah. I'd rather just hope they fumble for a turn or two, get hit a couple times, and then maybe my draws can get them with this tendrils. We're still at 20. They don't have any threats in play. Hopefully they don't find another meltdown. Most of these decks are not playing Mystic Sanctuary. Delver, it's fine. That could wind up useful. Adnaz is about useless at this point. Seeking the Beast, they did hit a Merc Tide. I can pay a million to try to kill it with Feed the Swarm. Merc Tide's only a 5, uh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. Correct candy trail. Not bad. Dark ritual? 
It's not good. I think I get feed the swarm. I mean, we're pretty dead if they have another force. Could feed the Delver. Then we only pay one. We go to 15, they attack us to 9. I take 7, I go to 9. It's close. Either way, it's very dicey. They might just have another force anyways, or double days. They do have three cards. I have a force. Okay. We have to draw Dark Ritual. Two, three, four, five. Dark Ritual actually kills them. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. Dark Rit, come on. We hit it. It's a bobble. They get another shuffle at it. This is the craziest fucking match. Yes! I can't even believe it, dude. Don't even have to thought seize, but there's no reason not to. Wow. Holy shit. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just keep this regardless of what they're, they're playing. They mug in the six. Shocker, Scaminator, Double and Tomb, Borrower, Ponder. I guess we just have to take Reanimate. Do have Duresses, though. They draw Brainstorm, it's bad. You guys still take Ponder? No. I'll take reanimate. What the hell? The revealed cards are on my third monitor that I just fucking turned off. Why? Not once have I put a moto window on this monitor and it just bloop. Oh yeah, why not? Alright, they pondered. Oh, look, it's a grief. Fucking deck, dude. Which one of the entombs? Okay. 
Hell yeah. Petty theft will be annoying, but... Whatever, I'll just play this. Yeah. It's more valuable than the duress at this point. Well, duress can still be good. It came this close to duressing on turn one, too, but there are some circumstances in which that bites you. It happened to us today, even. Against Delver, in game two. They just had a fucking wasteland on the top. I mean, they did ponder keep, but... Like, hmm, we'll ponder. Oh, there's a grief and a wasteland. Exactly what I wanted. Now Duress does nothing. Two, three, four, seven. So we are live to a tutor. So before you went to the party, then before you went to sleep, and now you're awake. Yeah, it's been just shy of 13 hours. All right. IT one time. IT one time. Or... No, that wouldn't work. IT. Just give me the IT. Come on. Come on, man. At least they bottom the card. Suppose that's the best case scenario. Best case is they top it accidentally, actually. <laughs> Alright. Comes Voidwalker. Threat has been deployed. Now Infernal Tutor... Well, no, they still... Okay, IT. Come on. Do we bubble us? If we have Adnaws on top, we can cast it on their upkeep. Is it more valuable than knowing their card? We're probably going to know it soon with Duress anyways. Adnaws? That's still good. Although now I'm less happy that I'm drawing it right now. I swear, if they draw Reanimate, I'm just... Maybe it wasn't worth looking for Adnaws. Gotta get under Bowmasters too, though. Dark Rit? Any Dark Rits? You can't get cheeky with Wishclaw, because it won't bounce it once it's on their side. So I think I have to actually make them play Brazen Borrower. Or I can just wait. Then I don't really have the mana to go for it next turn. I'm losing four... 7 life, plus the 3 from Brazen Borrower. So I have to make them use Petty Theft? Make them use Petty Theft. Hope I draw Anna. Or so well. Right? Infernal Tutor, come on. I mean, at that point, almost any card was a good draw for them. We have to hit IT here. Okay. I gotta beat him post board again. It is, generally speaking, slightly better for us post-board, but it's still not easy, because this deck is bullshit. Five coming in. We had a lot of what they did covered. It was that ponder that was outrageous. That ponder had grief, wasteland. I don't know what was next, but pretty good. I'm wondering what order it was. Like, had we taken ponder? 
It was probably Wasteland. It would just been all the more tilting. <laughs> if Dothy's in the main, are they going to remain? You know what? Take out Ad Adnons. We usually take out Burning Wish, but I think I'm going to hold Burning Wish instead of bringing Pure in. Burning Wish with LEDs is more realistic to get Pure against them. Should probably trim an opal. You know what? I'm going to try the pushes. Classic no ley line hands. It's a pretty large issue. Because once you go ley line, you don't have adnaz, which is always the problem with this strategy against tempo. But I don't think you really have a choice against them. So we want to find discard and then peer. If we can get this into play, turn one, dump her hand, we dodge grief. We have two, four, five, eight mana. You need ten. Not counting wastelands, days, just countering this. Saga is probably our best draw. At least this sets us up for, like, lands and discard not being bad draws. Hopefully they grief us here. Got him. Looking for the list... Stream Decker bot has been fucked for quite some time. But I will post a Stream Decker link. The perfect draw. They only have four cards. They pitched in Tomb, so presumably they have another in tomb and you know they're gonna have a reanimate or animate dead to go with it really maybe they pitch in tomb because they don't have one Maybe. suppose it depends what their hand is. Maybe they have a force that's their only blue card, although then you probably wouldn't use it there either. I don't know. This feels like a troll? Ponder? If we draw Dark Ritual or LED, do we go for it? That's the question. Dark Ritual plays into days, so I don't think we do. But LED peers around days. Coincidentally, this is a scenario in which it would have been better to have peer in the main, which is usually the case. But here is just so often not good enough against them. But this is exactly the scenario in which it's 
why it's kind of necessary to put it in your deck when you're taking Adnaz out. Because if you don't actually hit Leyline on a mulligan, you don't really have an engine to lean on. Ponder didn't shuffle. I mean, it's not terrible for us. They only have three cards. Well, at least it stops the most degenerate. Hope you kept it in Tomb Reanimate. Saga's a good draw. Colonel Tudor's a good draw. LED's a good draw. Discard is not a bad draw. It is weird, though. Because of days, I think it's maybe even appropriate to just fire it off. Maybe not, though. Tough to tell. If we draw LED, do we just go for it? Probably not. That sucks. That sucks hard. Down to 14. Three, four, six, seven. Leyline. Funny enough, is a pretty decent draw. Two, four, six, seven, ten. So we have enough to peer, but it runs into all in any interaction. And then, of course, Bowmasters is also a quite the possibility. Best card they could tutor for. <clears throat> Explosives probably was. With Cajun play? I don't know. It's weird that we haven't even seen a Bowmasters. At least I have the mana for it, so now if I have any discard spell... Now it beats Days. Or do I have to do it now? I go to five. I go to one. All right. I have to jam. I think it's painfully obvious they have forces. Certainly can't tutor chain. Yeah, we couldn't have drawn at least like a ley line or even just the helm that I can get the ley line. Some discard spells. Twelve cards in, no discard. It's like, what are you thinking about? Just counter it. <laughs> you have Bowmasters and a counter, and you're just like, do I kill them, or do I kill them? Sure. No way. No way, no way, no way, no way.
No way, dude. It's going in. They're hitting LEDs. <laughs> Over pedal. I have opals. I think I have a land drop, too. You get LEDs because then Infernal Tutor can't really win. If the win through, uh... Wishclaw? Oh my god. Tendrils in hand. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, jeez. I need to see. Let me look. Curse and reanimate and another grief. This whole tournament has been insane. Play to your outs, I suppose. Ah, <laughs> uh, fatal push, man. I don't know. Like, I probably shouldn't have brought them in there, although now they're more likely to have little shitters. We haven't seen a Bowmasters. How is that possible? They may have even taken them out. I, I don't know. I mean, it probably should have been the other way around, not have played the Fatal Push there and then play it this game. There was. Uh. Alright, can we get a Ley Line hand? That was brutal. I still think I should just have Burning Wish instead of Pier in the main. Because again, if I draw Burning Wish, it's more realistic to hit Pier than actually getting seven mana up front. The benefit, of course, of putting Pier in your main deck is that it makes it cheaper for your Wish Claw. Which is the problem we just ran into there. But the problem really only occurs when you don't have a ley line. Or occurs more often. I think it's more often that Burning Wish with LEDs is going to be more useful. Maybe not. Wish Claw is more plentiful. It's just so bad to draw Pier. It's not, it's pretty bad to draw Burning Wish too. And there isn't room for Bowmasters too? Sure there is. I've seen him with both. And is not that... Ugh. We don't have a ley line. And it's not even that good. Okay. This is a great hand. You do have to deal with fucking Scaminator though. They're bullshit. Maybe they mulligan? They didn't. At least when they grief, they can't reanimate it. And in tomb build? Yeah. They just like trim on animate dead. I'd have to look a little closer, but I've seen it. Um, yeah, I mean, we just go in here. Now, this is exactly what Classic BSS is all about. <clears throat> Presenting multiple issues all at once. Alright, they've got a force for it. We have their super broken stuff covered. Explosives is the worst thing for us, but... It's a one of... That's what knocked me out of the last challenge. We were in a similar position like this, except we had even discarded them and saw that they didn't have shit. And they ripped in explosives right off the top. No wasteland. No explosives. Except the, the that scenario, Saga was on two. So even a wasteland was gonna... We were still gonna be way ahead. So. This is top eight. Yes, game three... Is a problem? No. I mean, this configuration is fucking phenomenal against reanimators. Just this is a completely different beast. 
Just because there's issues against this deck doesn't mean whatever you're doing is an issue. It means this deck is fucking bullshit. Oh, shit. And they have two cards. We could just get Saga. We could also get a discard spell. If we want to blow Petal and LED to make a token. Or we could just wait a turn and hope they don't have explosives. We do have lethal right now if we want to just go for it. If they have forced blue card, we're still, like, okay. Didn't they just ponder? Yeah, it wouldn't be in their hand, I guess. They might wait a turn and then it might be in their hand. Remember when we nabbed it with a Cabal Therapy? I think it was Explosives or something similar. A Sweeper, a Meltdown or something. We waited a turn. Similar spot where, like, they don't want to use it yet because they want to get both Constructs and it's on top of their deck. <clears throat> I think I just get a Saga with Tutor. Or I just hold this and hope to draw a discard spell. I'm just going to hold it. The only way they would discard it is if they griefed me. And if they explosives me now, I'm still going to be able to utilize my saga. Like, if you want to grief me right now, that's fine. This is not a situation to be griefing. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be using it this turn. They would be holding it. Could have a petty theft. Wouldn't be the worst. That is the worst. We could have Petty Theft for Leyline at this point. It's either Cage to continue keeping them off of the bullshit, or Candy Trail to find some discard. I feel like it just has to be explosives. What did they do? Put Reanimate into their graveyard. So they didn't leave something on top. And they got rid of Reanimate. They had like entomb petty theft, they would have kept that. I don't think I cage here. Need LED just to make my ITs better. Bobble to look at mm. I like Candy Trail if I'm gonna go that route. I think Candy Trail is pretty good here. Don't really want those. Petty theft, okay. And they're forced to do it on the construct, not ley line. It's something. Oh, Jesus. Could hold that one, yeah, for explosives, but I think I want to attack. Or more. How much does it actually hurt to go for it here? Is the question. A fair amount. Another petty theft would be real bad. I think I just candy trail when they cast Brazen Borrower. Another ley line is terrible. Just need a discard spell. And this is what I mean about having Fatal Push instead. I mean, here we are again. Exact same position as before. 12 cards in, no discard spell. That's actually insane. They are Brainstorm locked. They're not scooping. Huh. Actual worst. Actual worst draw. Well, shit. Considering ITing for an IT so that I don't draw an IT. I don't see why not. They might even react. They did not.
So now a discard spell doesn't help too much. They do have bowmasters. It's definitely annoying. Now we're in like tendrils area. We hit a discard uh, spell. Well, almost. Not quite. They don't have forcible now. How do you know that? Oh, because they had a land. Well, they pondered. They have a land and unknown. So they have an underground sea and unknown. Yeah. They have two unknowns. They planted chump, it looks like. God, can I just get a discard spell so I can make a play? A, a mana source is good too, because I can slam Helm. Uh, the problem with that, of course, is Petty Theft. But at least it's something. Like, if they have a force, they force it, right? Unless it's force and Petty Theft. <laughs> ah, they never have it. Right. But they're not... I don't know. I don't think it's worth just like... Dude, why is my mouse freaking the fuck out? Sometimes it's Spotify, so I'm gonna turn that off. Dude, these fucking draws. <laughs> That's fine. They have one card in hand now. But our ITs are gone. Which is still... I mean... They have one card... Route 15. They hold back Bowmasters, it's a good sign. I don't like Ponder. Shuffles. Doesn't attack with Bowmasters, that's good. Any mana sources? Land, also good for us. Mana source. So if I do this, I do this upkeep. Petty theft still fucks it over. But then as long as Helm doesn't hit something, we can replay it potentially next turn. I should have done it main phase so that I could replay it immediately with my LEDs. I should have done it with both LEDs, I think. Alright, they don't have it. Insane. Well, I don't think I'm ever not keeping this. Question is, do I lead on Swamp or Saga? Let's get some info first. Knight of the Reliquary. We already have an Adnaz turn two, unless they wasteland us. That's okay. Sure. Maybe that's why I should have led on Swamp. I was thinking I wanted to get to chapter three as soon as possible. This is like the only type of spot that I wish I had one Cabal Ritual. 
when you want to turn Infernal Tutor into mana and you don't actually want to take an LED out of your deck. But it's still just not worth it to have Cabal Ritual in your deck. Right. Lead Swamp. Oh yeah, they can hold up Wasteland. It's true. Or they could have. Alright, from 20, one block floating. No Metalcraft, no land drop. Two LEDs in the deck. These matches get really hard post-board, which is why it's so important to win game one. One, two, three, four, five. Millennia Storm. All right, Peatland, Bayou, Hierarch, Knight. So it's Junk Maverick. Westing Beast, Renegade, Rallier, Alia, Scoos, Liberator, Teague, Oof. These are all in the main. Post board. Ley lines don't care. Hope they bring them in. Two Force of Vigor, an Oppo Agent, three Thought Seas. It's kind of light, to be honest, but although their main deck has more than something like Cradle Control. Okay, so we need these. I don't care about Ley Line. I don't see Deafening Silence. Doesn't mean they're not going to play it. I don't see it in any of their lists. Uh, there is Green Sun Zenith. Maybe Cage is worth it then. Probably not on the draw, though. I think I just want these. Maybe it's better than Duress? Yeah, I can buy that. There's spots where that's the door that you want to close. It's funny, it's in our opener. It's a pretty good opener. Probably loses the turn two thing. But if if they're going, their most common play is turn one dork, turn two zenith. And this does disrupt that. If they go turn one discard, they probably have to take talisman. This is fine. They mold to six. LED would get it done. Just passing. Pretty bad draw. Fortunately, I don't think it's Green Sun Zenith. I think it's just their turn to bear. It could be Force of Air. It could be Force... Like, the sad part is we're hoping it's Force of Air. Because if it isn't, we probably lost. Saga could get there, but likely not. It depends what it is. I think it's a bear. I think it's Thalia. We don't really need to stop Zenith, so I'm not going to play Cage. Or maybe I just will, actually. Because I don't necessarily need to play Wishclaw either. How do you beat Force of Vigor? Uh, it leaves them with very few cards and potentially not a great rest of their hand. And we have draw steps and it only hits two of our cards. Wishclaw. They do have discard spells. Obviously, they didn't open on it. I think I'm supposed to. It's better against Thalia, right? Just play it out. 
I still have Saga mana. If they're gonna wasteland us, kinda sets them back. They left it on top, that's not good. It's a wasteland, okay. At least there's no bear. Any LEDs? Any rituals? Any soul lands? It's close. We're one shy at the moment. Oh. Come on, baby. As I look at the top of my deck, because if it's Adnaz, I can imprint this and then I can Adnaz on their turn. It's another bobble. I mean, I like that Scooze was their best play, right? And they can't Zenith. Now they had have to have like ripped a good one. Or they play like a knight or something, which is probably not going to be good enough. Yeah, sorry. Uh, MTG bot overlays down because of the update. We we're in the top four. We won game one. This is game two. Yeah, this thing is for permanent. You can draw left a bit. Return target permanent card. With so they get a wasteland. Okay. All right. We're back to needing something that gives us two mana. Ritual, Soul Land, LED. It's three, six, ten outs. Okay. Well, we get to see what's up with them. Their Wasteland Sucker. And I guess an Adnaz wouldn't do it at this point, but Colonel Tutor counts as a mana source. It's another one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's enough. This Oppo agent is like the big thing, right? But we can't play around it, so. They have a Force of Vigor? I think they do, but it doesn't matter at this stage. They could have hit that Chrome Mox, then it would have mattered. Let's recount one more time. Three, four, five, six. Yep. I guess it could matter. No, because I have to get LED with this anyways, so. Do you have your one of Oppo Agent? Could it be Veil? I don't see any in their lists. In any of their lists. God, I almost just got ad nauseum by accident. That was close. Okay. They're preparing to F6 is what that felt like. Okay, resolved. Those are good hits. They wasted there. I mean, technically, they should be holding on to that wasteland to hit a saga. That's our land drop. Nope, city is. Or no, we made a land drop. Maybe that's why they did it, so I might forget that I don't have a land drop. Need dark rituals and LEDs here. It's not what that is. Good start, but it got rocky. I only have two mana. Need seven mana. Oh, shit. Now it has to be all, like, petals and LEDs. An LED does it. Nope. All right. Bummer. Bummer. All oh, right, and ten tendrils was imprinted, so we'd have the burning wish. I needed even more mana. Um, I think we run it back. We play more duress on the play. It's a little better. So 
one's a bit too awkward. This one is pretty good. Of course, the vigor is going to hurt. I think I lead on swamp to this one. That's awesome. Hmm. Makes them less likely to have just other stuff. Makes them think they might have more time. Even after they saw Ad Nauseam. I want to play Saga first. But it's so cold to lay line. I mean, Force of Vigor. 2 4. I need to get something that's. I think we're supposed to play it. It's probably supposed to play it before playing Petal, though, so that they don't have two targets right off the rip. Yeah, that feels a lot like Force of Vigor. Brings them down to four cards. We have a basic, we have Fatal Push. Fine. Honestly, it might be better this way. So I still have Wishclaw. Yeah, because if I went Saga first, they probably let it go, then I play Petal. And I'm the one who has priority anyways. So I'd have to pass if I wanted them to, which I might, may have even done. Hell yeah. Sucks. Come on, man. Not like this. Thank you. I'm just hoping you don't have another one. I can't pass, because then they can save it with Knight. It hurts. Wasteland's gonna hurt. Should probably take Dark Ritual and then Wasteland me. I'm telling you, man, these fair green decks get really tough post-board. I mean, sometimes you just have a fast hand and it's not tough, but that's a good one. I mean, just any land is a good one. Makes them have to keep wastelanding. It could just attack us. Kind of dare us to add Nas. No, getting in for one. Endurance. Wasteland. Um, it's LED or bust. What is this? Not going to attack me? Idruthalia. We're going to draw LED too. No. They have lethal though. They have to candy trail. Hope to hit a black source. And then kill knight. No, because then I can't even cast fatal push. We got a one. Don't believe there's a way out of this. They're still not attacking. I 
All right, top four. Uh, one said, "Elwell, there's definitely not a ley line in my hand. Please kill me turn one so that my play didn't matter at all. I don't get it. I don't know when they said that, so. Like they're making fun of themselves for bringing in ley line. This is what it seems like. Yeah. Well, congrats to Achilles for making it to the finals. At least I can fucking get out of here now. 14 hours. Top four, not bad. I'll take it. What does that get? 20 QPs. 50 treasures. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you everyone for chilling. From the MH3 testing earlier in the day, all the way up through the Vintage Challenge and Legacy Challenge, but understandably, I am fucking dead. We are 30 seconds away from 14 hours of streaming. So, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm.